What's up, Level Up here, and today I'll be going through a few subtle details you can add to your game. First of all, we walk into this room, and you can see these two people sitting at the table. Uh, it's a bit static, so what I want to do first of all is change the fact that they're standing on top of chairs, and I want to edit that so they're sitting in chairs, and next I'm also going to make their mouths move so it looks like they're talking. So let's go do that right now. Alright guys, so first thing you want to do is go into your games folder, then your image folder, then your characters folder, and just open up People1. Now use that in your image editing software, I'll be using GIMP. So right click on it, open with GIMP. We also want to open up another file, which is in your game project image file and tile sets, and we're just going to open up inside B. Again, open it with your image editor, which will be GIMP in my case. We start by setting up a few different layers to work within, and then we just drag over the wooden stool from tile set B. And we start editing the stool so that it's small enough for the character to be able to sit on, and it works within the confines of the 48 by 48 grid. As you can see here, I'm just messing with the size of the stool and the size of the character, just so it all fits with inside. Once I'm happy with that, we can move forward into animating it. After you've finished editing your character onto the stool, then you just want to copy the character and the stool over to the rest of the 48 by 48 tiles within your character sheet. So you want to do that for the left, the right, the up and the down tile, erasing whatever's left behind. You also want to make sure that you grab the front facing head so that you can edit that onto two of the tiles. We're going to have two side facing heads, one speaking, one not. We're going to have two front facing heads. After you've got all that set up, you can head down to the very bottom three tiles you've got and start animating the mouth movements. You can do that by selecting a dark line, not a black line, and then go in and add an E sound, an O sound, and an R sound, shape of the mouth. Uh, you can also add the tongue in there for a bit of extra effect. All up from here, it's pretty discretionary about how you animate the mouth. Uh, it's all going to come into play later on when we set the animation. Once you've finished the bottom facing, animation, you just want to go to the top facing animation where the character is actually facing the player. You just want to add an O sound, and an E sound, and an R sound yet again. And now we're ready to put that into our game and have speaking characters. Head back over into the game file and just replace out the old character event with the new character event that you've created sitting on the chair. Right here I'm just entering in some text. I'll show you some images in a little bit of how I actually event the character speaking. Oh, hello there. Your mouth just moved when you spoke, and stopped moving when you stopped talking. Yeah, it's a cool subtle detail, isn't it? Sure is. And there we have it. We have animated characters talking within our game. From the event sheet you can see here, at the very start of the event, I've got the event turning down, because the down facing is the animation for talking to the character. So, you see, so it's down, the character starts speaking, and then the move route is turn left. Turn left is where he's looking at the player, but not speaking to the player, so his mouth's not moving. Uh, then, when he starts talking again, it's turn down again, which is talking to the character, and after he's finished talking, it is turn left, to stop talking to the character. Here is the custom root animation that I have for when you're not talking to the character, but the character's just sitting by himself. He's turn up, which means he is talking, wait 60 frames, turn right, and he stops talking. Again, turn up, wait some frames, turn right, wait some frames, and that'll just keep him on, a, on the part where he's stopping talking and starting talking. And there we go guys, that is how you add some subtle detail into your RPG Maker MV game, through getting the character to sit on the chair and also getting the character to speak. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's given you some ideas for your own game. If you like the content I produce, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my Facebook page, Level Up Design, my Instagram, Level Up Design AUS, and my Medium blog, Level Up Design. All will have links in the description. Once again, thank you, and have a good day.